and welcome to Trading Hour on CNBC TV 18. I'm Ekta Batra. With me is Prashant Nair. Well, we've started off the week and it's a Tuesday. Yesterday was a holiday on a firm note. So we have the Nifty, which is up around 30 odd points. We have the Sensex, which is up around 83 odd points. And the Bank Nifty not doing too badly. So up around 3 tenths or 4 tenths of a percent currently for the Bank Nifty as well. Overall, a lot of stocks in focus today. So we have the entire auto, auto pack, which is actually moving around. Uh, Tata Motors stands out because Tata Motors is up around eight and a half odd percent so that stock is just about zooming ahead jet airways still sulking so that stock down around down around 0.8 percent and we have a couple of other stocks which would come up for you um, in terms of movers we have a lot of uh, traction coming in uh, a lot of these oil marketing companies simply maybe because of the softening that we've seen in Brent crude prices HPCL BPCL IOC all of those those stocks higher overall Let's see, started off on a firm note, the mid-cap index continues in terms of outperformance from last week. Hi, Prashant. Ikta, hi. Uh, and I think the broader market remains, once again, uh, the highlight as we kick off this week. Uh, you know, as of Friday, I mean, uh, the market uh, was up almost, what, 7% uh, uh, from the lows. I'm talking about the mid-cap and small-cap part of the market. I mean, so basically the previous two weeks got a 7 odd percent each, and uh, it's kicking off in a pretty good way once again. Uh, so this move is extending. I mean, almost 10% now, uh, and and it's just kick starting this week. Let's see how far this can go. But to me, I mean, that is by far uh, the biggest positive that we've got. This interest, this life in uh, smaller stocks, which is uh, very much evident. Market breadth. I mean, as a result of that, about 1,300 actively traded stocks higher. There are about 250 stocks which are lower. So I mean, you know, advances outpacing declines by a mile at this point. Uh, it's all about individual stocks, so that's essentially going to be the focus over the next 60 minutes. Uh, uh, let's uh, kick it off with a top-down view on the market, uh, how to uh, trade the index, maybe put out a couple of stocks. Sudarshan is with us as always to take us through that. Sudarshan, good morning. Uh, your sense uh, as we begin a new week, uh, maybe a little late on Tuesday, but uh, your sense. Yeah, good morning. Well, today we had an early morning dip and that dip was bought into and that dip also gave us a pattern of higher lows. You know, every time we are dipping, the lows have been higher than the previous ones. All of this tells us that a rally towards 10,950 or even 11,000 is practical and possible. Since morning, I have been suggesting going long in the Nifty and the Nifty Bank. That view continues to remain even at current levels. Uh, looking at a time horizon for Thursday afternoon, when the weekly options will expire, I would assume that the market should be higher than where they are now. So buying is still suggested in the indices. This is a good position to be in for the bulls. Similarly, stocks are also offering opportunities. You've already talked about how mid caps are outperforming. And uh, there is a range of opportunities available on the long side. So Hero Motocorp is a buying opportunity. Remember, these are short term trades, but they're still there. Kotak is a buy. Private sector banks are outperforming and Kotak should now continue that outperformance. And finally, Voltas, which never really saw a correction. It has been an outstanding performer in the mid-cap sector. That's a buy. So focus on mid-caps, buy the indices, and for the time being, for this show, for the, at this point, Hero, Kotak, and Voltas are buying ideas. Okay, Hero, Kotak, and Voltas. Uh, some news on Reliance Infrastructure, positive news, they've won an order from AAI uh, for 648 odd crores at the Raj, for the Rajkot Airport. So positive news coming in, stock is up around 5.6% reacting to it. Uh, but uh, Sudarshan, just wanted your thoughts, say on Reliance Infrastructure in terms of the technicals. Also a lot of these oil marketing companies are doing very well today. Uh, what would you your approach be towards any of them and even Tata Motors? So four stocks, five stocks in total. Well, yes. See, first of all, Reliance Infrastructure, I think Reliance Infrastructure and uh, the group companies, Reliance Capital, for different reasons, are bottoming out. At least a short-term low is in place. So infra the Reliance infra Infrastructure, especially, is a buying opportunity. Even at the, after the gains we have seen today, I think it's a buy. Oil marketing companies are cheerful because of crude, because of different reasons. I would not buy them. There are other crude derivatives which are more interesting, Reliance, Asian Paints. So uh, this may or may not, the trade is not necessary. Tata Motors, I have not been bullish on this stock. I don't continue. I think it's a relief rally. It will fizzle out. Best to avoid it. Okay. Uh, Sudarshan, uh, so that's, look at that. I mean, uh, it's a big, big move. 
Uh, it's a 10% move on Tata Motors. It's uh, 197, 198 odd rupees or so. And I think last week was a good one. Uh, so it's a continuation of the bounce that we are seeing uh, on uh, Tata Motors. I mean, actually, let me just quickly pull up the chart of uh, Tata Motors and uh, see what it has done from the recent lows. The low, lowest point, not very far back, I mean, actually, on the 8th of February was uh, 129. So basically, from 129 to almost 200 rupees uh, in uh, what? I mean, I think about 12 or trading sessions or so. I mean, it's been absolutely remarkable uh, in that uh, sense. So there is a, a definite pickup that we are uh, seeing on uh, this one right now. 14% for the year, by the way, uh, as things stand. Okay, I think uh, what we can do is we can uh, look at a couple of other stories and uh, I think Jet Airways uh, should be in focus. Uh, let's have the Jet stock up and uh, see what is happening on uh, Jet at this point in time. Uh, okay, it's under pressure. It's down about 1%. Two more uh, planes have been, uh, Jet's planes have been grounded, making it, making it a total of one-fourth of the total fleet, which is grounded. Actually, it's a little over 20% now. Sonia is here with uh, those details. Sonia, over to you. Well, the problems continue for Jet Airways, and as you rightly said, now 25 aircrafts have been grounded by lessers since the 7th of February. That means one-fourth of its fleet is now grounded. That's because Jet Airways has failed to pay the uh, lease rentals. They still await more details on the recapitalization. Now, of the 155 aircrafts that Jet has on their books, 100 of them are leased by air leasing companies. With the repossession of these 25 aircrafts, the actual fleet size now drops to under 100. So that will create some new problems of its own in the months to come. Not just that, you know, Jet's FDs are pledged with SBI for about 225-odd crores. Reports also suggest that SBI and PNB are ready to buy the loans of other banks. But until more details on the recapitalization doesn't come through, it's, uh, uh, there are indications that the lessers could continue to ground more of Jet's aircraft. And that uh, is the big reason why the stock is under pressure today. Okay, all right, Sunia, thanks very much for that.